the fifth step risk analysis you have the severity you have the initial states you have the occurrence and detection and the rating catalogs and the end you have statistics management so the very first severity you define at your top levels and severity is for failures so you cannot insert a severity for a function you need to insert the severity on a failure and only think of this failure what has this failure or an failure effect on your customer or one of your customers in my case label on bottle does not hold over lifetime right mouse click and then severity and then i can choose here from 1 to 10 i would say it's a moderate in this case, the text is copied from the ALG VDA catalog, degradation of secondary vehicle function. The severity 10 is now for safe operation of the vehicle, and the severity 9 is only for non compliance with regulations. In the previous catalogs, it was both the same. Severity 9 was with warning, and severity 10 was without warning, but now they split it up. And this is the major difference in the rating catalog for severity to the previous catalog. Then you have your severity 8, uh, loss of primary function, loss of secondary function like radio, seat, heating, ambient light, and so on. But in my case, I'm a bottle design FMA. For me, a label is a secondary function, so I will rate it as a severity 5. I rated it and you don't see it here because this is, again, display option. So everything you don't see in your FMA, everything you will find in display options 99% of the time. Structure list is the right side, additional details, this is the valuation, severity and occurrence and detection. And I would also turn on here, user defined attributes is also important. The numbering is good to know and then click on OK and then you see your severity. You see here now both severity equals five and severity max equals five. But if I go one level deeper, you will only see severity max. And this is also good to see because the severity max means if I have here more than one failure effect, then this will lead to a higher severity. So this is my severity max. So severity is located at the very top at the effect. Or if I go to my AIG VDA form, I have it in this column, severity. And if you insert here the severity, it will also appear on your failure effects. The severity is always linked to the failure effects. Next one, initial states. So initial states, what does that mean? This means on the root cause level or in the form sheet, the third level, you need to set your actions. This is this one, the risk analysis, step five, current prevention and current detection actions. You can of course insert them here, but I will show you in the structure tree. Do you remember I defined my width and height of my label? in the product characteristic level or on the third level. And this is my level where I define actions. And initial and revision states are always related to failures, not to functions. So in my case, I need to select a failure and then you can define your revision states. You have here an icon revision state or right mouse click and then new. And then you have here also revision state and then he inserts it initial state today 20th january 2022 and occurrence question mark and detection question mark and this you can set in the options if this is a question mark or this is rated with occurrence 10 and detection 10 initially and for this you can go to tools and then workstation settings and then settings and then you have under actions and there you can set initial occurrence detection values to 10 I personally recommend to use this setting because statistics management will show this at the very top. And if I set this and create a new revision state, then it is automatically rated with occurrence 10, detection 10. And in the statistics management, this will pop up as a red item. Otherwise, if it has question mark, it will not be displayed in statistics management. It's only my personal opinion to set this initial to 10, but you can use it also as question mark. That's no problem because I saw a lot of FMAs where people forgot to rate the initial state with ratings and then it will disappear from the statistic uh, management. And if you rated it with 10, 10 initially, then it will pop up and then you see, oh, I forgot to rate an initial state. That's the reason. What are my preventive actions for especially this case with of label too big or too small? 
I have here my preventive actions and detection actions or I can right mouse click on my initial state and then preventive and detection actions. Preventive actions, maybe you know it, every action I do before the failure occurs in the design FMAs, in most cases it's according to standards, calculations, finite element analysis, tolerance calculations and so on. And every test I do, a laboratory tests or tests with first sample parts are detection actions. So in this case I did a tolerance analysis, maybe I have a experience from previous project and this you can use as preventive action and then I recommend to rate the occurrence and detection after implementation of the actions. The detection action for this width of label design detection action and I saw a lot of design FMAs which are implementing in this case detection actions from the production. For example you write down here I have 100% camera check at the end of line but this is not a detection action for the design FMA. For process FMA it's correct but we are here in design FMA and in the design FMA you need to consider the actions you do in the design. In this case you do not a 100% camera check. I think you are measuring the first sample parts, you're checking your CAD model, you're checking data sheets, you're talking with your customers, you're checking your production drawings and so on and so on. And these are actions for the design of me. And consider this please, I saw a lot of FMAs which doing this wrong. So in my case, I will write down check by supervisor. Why I implemented here check by supervisor? Because I defined the width of the label on the drawing and in the design FMA I define design actions and not my, as I said, 100% camera check. So in the design I can only check my production drawing. I inserted it on my production drawing and the rest needs to do my production. From point of design FMA in my initial state I can check my drawing. Then I can rate my occurrence and detection rating, right mouse click, occurrence, detection. I will give here tolerance analysis and experience from previous project. Let's do an example. Occurrence is 6 high and detection also 6 moderate. Now he calculates me automatically the RPN and also the action priority. And this I need to do for each root cause I have, for each failure cause. This was part 1 of the risk analysis. And if you want to see how you can change the rating catalog to the new AAG and VDA, or how you can find out the top 10 of your FMA with the statistics editor. And if you want to test your knowledge and get a certificate, then enroll to my free online course and click here to watch the full playlist about the 7 steps in APIS. Thanks for watching.